One day, Frank asked me to stop by the bar. He said he had a little job for me, so of course I showed up. Tom, we got two trucks full of the best liquor coming in from Canada. Sam's gone out to the handoff point to meet him. They're on an old farm outside of town, and we need to get the shipment to the city. I'm sending two trucks out. Paulie's going with one of them. I want you to go with them and keep an eye over everything. Just to make sure it all goes smoothly. Get a car from Ralphie and join up with Paulie over at a warehouse. Paulie will give you some weapons when you get there. Okay, Frank. So what have you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, t -t 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 Tom, I have he here a new machine for you. It has 65 horsepower, and if you put your foot down, it'll go over 75 miles per hour. They put a new lock on it, but it ain't no problem. Hey, watch. See? It's 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 real easy. You can take this car or something older. Whatever you want. Thanks, Ralphie.
Hey, Tommy. We're going to a farm outside of town to pick up a couple of truckloads of good booze. We wanted you with us in case of any trouble, but it should be real easy. You don't really have to do nothing. Just be there. The boys will load up the trucks and we'll come back. Sam's already there waiting for us, so probably be drinking more soon before we even get there. I'll do the driving. Cops have been paid off, so there's nothing to worry about. Looks like I could have just stayed home and slept. Hey, if I gotta be up, you gotta be up. <laughs> Let's go. Leeds, countryside, stress. You know, we ought to do this more often. Better in the daytime. <laughs> I think you'd rather be with Luigi's little girl. Sarah, right? That's your night shift. <laughs> Lay off. What do you know about it? Same way as everybody else knows. Heck, even Luigi knows you're chasing her. I figure you ain't too bad. You saved the virginity after all. <laughs> but I bet you stole her right back, huh? Shut up, Paulie. I didn't know you were there. Ah, come on, Tom. I'm kidding. She's a good girl. You're good for each other. I ain't so sure. Uh, somehow I can't imagine coming home and saying, Guess what, Sarah? Had a hell of a day at work today. I had to kill ten people. You can't talk about stuff like that at home. If you don't act like the way they describe you in the papers, and you're good to her, just ignore all that crap. Hey, <laughs> she's loaded. So it seems normal to you to hide who you really are from your own wife your whole life. Don't worry so much. Damn it! What's going on? Sam should be waiting here, but he isn't. It smells fishy. Look, we'll wait here with the trucks. You go quietly, check out what's going on. Thanks for the confidence. Here's some toys to take with you. Jesus! Hey, your friend, he's fallen sick. Who are you? So are you from the police? Yeah, Mr. Morello and the sheriff would like to send their regards and inform you that from this point on, they'll be taking over your duties here. <laughs>
They're all dead. What? The truck crew. Out there in the back. They wasted them. What? What about Sam? Did you see him? No, I didn't see him. But the barn was locked. He might be in there. We ain't leaving without him. Let's go back and get him. Okay, we'll go back. But we gotta find a crowbar or something so we can break open that barn door. Okay, let's go. You boys stay here for now and watch the trucks. Waste anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Besides us, of course. was a massacre. This is one hell of a night. It looks like they want to get us completely out of the picture. Yeah? Well, that ain't gonna be so easy. Is Sam okay upstairs? Yeah, he's okay. At least he isn't any worse. Okay, I'll get him. You keep watch here. Sam, it's me, Paulie. Come on, we're going home. Oh, <laughs> we're going to the doctor. I ain't feeling so good. I must be coming down or something. Hmm, I guess so. Your nose is running a little. Ah. Sam, I'll put you in the back. Tom will be with you, just in case. Okay. Tom, go with him. Keep an eye out. He's a Thompson if you need it. Got it. Paulie, it looks like we got more company. 
There's a Thompson and some ammo back there. Get behind those crates and watch out. Fire as soon as they get behind us. Make sure they don't get past us. We're here. Tom, get Sam ready. I'll go wake the doc up. Sam, we're at the doctor. God, is that you, Polly? What are you doing here so late? Good evening, doc. I'm sorry, but we had an accident, and we need your help. Okay, where is he? Bring him inside. Okay. That was our doctor. Doesn't ask questions. The Sam's in good company. Are you sure that he isn't just an untrained butcher? Definitely not. He's the best. The best paid doctor in the city. If you get hurt, he'll be thankful that we have him. Okay. I hope he'll do his best for Sam. That's all over. We could have all ended up a lot worse off than Sam did. When I catch that bastard who double crossed us, I'll tear his head off. It looks like someone has had enough of us. It sure does. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get a shadow something. When the Don finds out what happened, there'll be hell to pay. This means a real war, and it ain't good. It certainly ain't. All right. So good night, Tom. Have a good night. Or at least try to have one.
Tommy, you come like a gift from heaven. A stoolie just called me and said that the cops want to pick one of my friends up. Hey, we gotta let him know as fast as possible. He lives in a house in Hoboken. Could you go and warn him? Okay, Lucas. What is it? What do you want this time of night? Lucas Bertone said me. You gotta disappear. The cops will be here any minute. Shit. Thank Lucas for me. And you too, of course. I better go out the back so no one sees me. Goodbye. Good luck. So, what? Fine, went well. He thanked you and then quickly disappeared. Ah, oh, thank God. Hey, I have a reward for you, Tommy.
Hey, this is totally new. It's a little different than his other cars. It's the first line of cars with an aerodynamic form. Yeah, hey, they look pretty sharp to me, but many people don't like them. Hey, the main thing is that it purrs like a kitten, yeah. And you can snag one easy. You just stick this wire in here, boom, that's it. One guy who lives in Oakwood has the same model. He parks it in front of the garage next to his house, eh? Great, thanks.
Yesterday was the worst disaster we've had. We lost eight men, the whole shipment. And Sam can't even stand up. This is a war and we're in a hell of a fix. He's already got the prosecutor on his side. And he's digging up a load of dirt on us. He's also pretty close to the counselor whose boy you knocked off, Tommy. So he's got the cops after us. They ain't got nothing on us. That's where you're wrong. Yesterday, Frank handed over all our account books. The prosecutor is having a field day. Damn it. Frank wouldn't be out for blood. But he doesn't seem to mind too much if I go to jail for life. Those account books will give the prosecutor a truckload of evidence for the case against us. But without Frank, it'll be for nothing. We've got to liquidate Frank. You mean hit him? You trying to tell me I've got to knock Frank off? More than 20 years I've known Frank. All I got, I got with him. But Frank broke the Omerta. I don't know why, but he must have his reasons. And we've got our own reasons to rub him out and get those books back. Otherwise, we'll do time. And plenty of it. Whatever you want, boss. If there ain't no other way... There isn't. I figure today's our last chance to do something before they move Frank out of our reach. What do you want me to do? First, find these men and find out where they've got Frank. They're good stoolies. They have connections with the cops and in the courthouse. One of them is sure to know. You already know Big Biff's from Chinatown and little Tony's always loafing on the island near the museum. Then track down Frank. Whatever you do, don't kill him till he tells you where those books are. Kabish? Got it. Frank's going to have protection. You'll have to knock them off first. Once you know where the books are, kill him. Okay, boss. Whatever you want. Good luck, Tommy. Get a gun from Vincenzo and a car off Ralphie. And remember, if you don't do this right, we're done for. God damn it. What have you done, Frank? You were a brother to me. Hello, Vince. I guess you know why I'm here. Right. What can you do? <sighs> Frank knew what would happen. What do you got for me? A Colt 1911 should be enough, but here's a sword off as well. In Sicily, they call it a lupata. When they find someone shot by one of these babies, everyone knows the deal. Unfortunately, this is the perfect situation to use it. It's got a short range, but it covers a lot of real estate. You can't miss. I never thought that I'd meet with Sicilian tradition like this. What do you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, hey, t -t -t Tommy, I got a new car. Just a bit better than that, than, than, than that v v v v V8. Has 80 horsepower. Pretty good little m m m machine. They change the locks a bit, but it ain't no problem when you're in the the, 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 the business.
that's it. Thanks, Ralphie.